Good afternoon. Welcome to our news bulletin. I'm Dania Nizam. In the Azor units of the Syrian army inflicted heavy casualties among the terrorists and destroyed their equipment and the quarters of the workers, Al Hwaqa and Al Urfi. The clash in Al Urfi led to the death and wounding of large numbers of terrorists and the destruction of their weapons. Another army unit killed and wounded members of another terrorist group. The unit also wounded many terrorists in Al Murai and killed the terrorist Abdullah Omar Al Bash. During the chase of the remaining terrorists in the area of Jobar and Al Qabun, the Syrian Arab Army units discovered a tunnel extending 500 meters from the electric power station in Al Qabun towards Arbin, reaching the southern highway. The tunnel was applied with water, electric power, and contained a control room with screens, computers, and monitoring equipment. It also contained tools used in drilling large number of mines and explosive devices. There was a camera at the end of the tunnel attached to the control room and used to monitor vehicles and give orders to attack them. In Banyas, the security forces found large amounts of dangerous chemical materials inside a terrorist hideout in one of the farms. The captured materials included 79 barrels of polyethylene glycol, 67 barrels of monoethylene glycol, 25 barrels of monoethanolamine, 68 barrels of diethanolamine, and 42 barrels of triethanolamine. A Syrian Arab army unit confronted a terrorist gang calling itself the Front of Islam and repulsed their attempt to attack the Aleppo Central Prison, killing and wounding most of the terrorists and destroying their weapons and equipment, including heavy machine guns. A Syrian Arab army unit carried out two qualitative operations against terrorist groups to the east of the villages of Hretan and Castillo in the Aleppo countryside. Large numbers of terrorists were killed and wounded and large amounts of weapons and ammunition in a vehicle were destroyed. A Syrian Arab army unit also clashed with a terrorist gang in Al Wadeha village, killing and wounding all members of the gang and destroying their equipment. A Syrian Arab army unit clashed with terrorist groups in Berzeh, killing and wounding many of them and destroying their weapons and equipment. The dead terrorists included Mohammed Ahmed Hamza, Mazen Abdul Wahid, and Fida Al Bali. A unit of engineers diffused five explosive devices weighing more than 20 kilograms each. The terrorists planted them in order to detonate them by remote control. Large numbers of terrorists were killed and wounded in a series of operations carried out by the army in the same area. Army units destroyed terrorists' dens and missiles in Palmyra, home city and countryside. A military source said that terrorists were killed and others injured in Al War, Al Qarabis, Al Qusur, and Bab Sba neighborhoods in Homs city. The source added that another unit tightened control over a number of buildings southwest of the real estate bank and east of Al Nur Mosque in Bab Hood neighborhood, having eliminated terrorist groups who were stationed there. The source went on to say that several operations were carried out against terrorist gatherings in Qisin, Kaflaha and Teldo in Al Hula and the Rastan countryside, killing and injuring scores of terrorists and destroying equipment, weapons and ammunition that they were using in their attacks against the locals. An army unit destroyed missiles that were loaded in three big trucks near Bir al-Emir south of Palmyra city as another unit pressed ahead with operations to restore security and stability to al-Briqat and al-Sharqi neighborhoods in the city.
Iraqi army eliminated a number of terrorists who belonged to Al-Qaeda organization in infiltrate attempt to Syria as the army confiscated a warehouse for explosives and a hideout full of weapons in Al-Ambar governorates. An official Iraqi source mentioned that the border guards eliminated four leaders belonging to Al-Qaeda organization and arrested four others while they were trying to infiltrate into Syria through Al-Qaim border area in Al-Ambar governorate. The border guards also destroyed four cars the terrorists were riding and they dismantled the booby-trapped car. The source added the border guards units confiscated a hideout full of weapons, hand grenades and explosive devices also. They confiscated a warehouse for explosives in Wadi al lasqa which is adjacent to the Syrian-Iraqi border. The source also said that the army units in Baghdad seized three missile launchers, explosive belts and machine guns in al Rashidiya area in Baghdad. The squares of Egypt are witnessing millions of demonstrators invited by the National Revolutionary Forces in Egypt, keen to assert that legitimacy belongs to the popular masses. The demonstrators also asserted that keenness to preserve the national resolutions and to protect the gains of the people against any internal or external attempt to disrupt them. Dozens of people wounded in clashes carried out by the terrorist supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood in the governorate of al buhaira Violent clashes erupted near a mosque in Damanur between the people and the terrorists of the Muslim Brothers, causing the wounding of dozens of people. The Turkish police fired tear gas and used water cannons to prevent about 3,000 demonstrators from reaching Taksim Square in the middle of Istanbul city. The French news agency said that the demonstrators clashed with the police members who were cutting the road that led to Taksim Square and forced them to spread in the nearby streets. For its part, the administrative court in Istanbul city has cancelled in last June the project of rehabilitating Taksim Square because the government did not consult the inhabitants of the area and the project violates their identity. In the meantime, the demonstrators considered this decision, which has been published only a few days ago, as a victory for them. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching us. For more details about Syria and the region, you can review our bulletin on syrianline.sy.